Hey guys, Kyle here. Welcome back to NHL 16 Be a GM Mode with the Nashville Predators. We got up to the All-Star break last time, and we're just going to keep going. We've been on a really... Well, we've been doing pretty well. We're 27-15-4. and four. Vorobev has been looking great. I'm so glad we drafted him over Conroy. We looked in on him, and he wasn't showing the best stats. Ah, oh, one nothing loss. Come on, offense. That's that's your game. And we lose to the Maple Laughs. Oh, well. Anyway, we've actually been looking pretty solid this year. I looked at all the stats last time. And while they could be slightly better for the offensive, defensively we've been pretty good. Like, I think the most that we've let up in one game is four goals. I think. Don't quote me on that. I don't really want to go back and look, but... Well, now it's five. Definitely five. But... I also don't know if that's Vorbev or... Still don't know the backup's name. I'm going to go with Olafson. It sounds right. Alright, we're dropping a couple games here. Don't... Please don't be dropping those games. All right. Um, all right, let's see what we can... Do we need to do any... Philip Schlopik? You know, let's view Minor scoring forward, bottom six. You know what? Why not? He's got two years left. He's looking... He's young. Why not? All right, so... Based on our team. Alright, so we've... As far as our goalies are going... Olsen. There we go. That's that's the name. Alright, and... Vorobev, your stats are looking... Actually, they came down a little bit from the beginning, but they're still looking pretty solid. Both goalies are actually looking pretty solid. <laughs> Oh, jeez. And Olsen is elite. I Part of me really hopes he doesn't jump up so that Vorab, we don't have another thing going. I'd, I'd like to keep this duo. I really would. And our... Do we have any growth from anyone? Well, Morrissey's an 85 now. He's a second line forward. You know what? I'm going to give him some power play time to make up for it. I'll give him uh, I'll give him four man over over um Ooh, this is tough. Uh Um can Okay, yeah, that's We'll give it to him over Forsberg. Why not? We'll give it a shot, at least. All right, there you go, Morrissey. And we'll just... Could we throw him in here? Um... Nah, I don't want to screw with it. If we've been doing fine, I'm, I'm not going to mess with it at all. All right, so Colorado passed us in the in the standings. Well, uh, we'll uh, we'll be checking this probably after this season as well to see where we ended up. But all right, entire league. Our offense is dipping. I saw that. Our offense is actually looking way not as good. But. Uh, let's see. Uh, goals against. We're still up there. So defensively we're still pulling it. Pulling our weight. Alright. Uh, okay. Our power play has gotten better. And our penalty kill 
is still is top three in the league. I will just that's uh that's fine. You know what? I our team's clicking for the most part, at least. All right, uh, point producers, forwards. All right, O'Reilly, Forsberg, Sorella's up there. Ooh, that's that's a new one. All right, Mantha, uh, McIver, Benson, Bodker, and Lee Morrissey. Okay. All right, and as far as defensemen, ooh, these guys are both minus players. Ooh, that's it's not that good. Um, Yossi's doing great. I mean, 41 points from a defenseman. That's that's more than I need from him, to be honest. But everything's looking good right now. Except for our offense. Our offense is dipping. But you know what? If we keep scoring goals, I'm not going to complain about it. Let's just power through the rest of the season. This isn't something that can be tr saved. Well, this isn't something that can be changed through the trade deadline. So we're going to stay silent. We're going to stay patient with our team. And we're reaping the benefits already. Oh, 6 nothing. Jeez, that was not a good game for us. All right, and then we win 3 nothing. Okay. All right, let's see. So we're dropping some to Colorado and Dallas, which is definitely not the way to get into the playoffs. But we're just about there anyway. Like we're we're 40, 28 and 29 and 5. We're on a losing streak right now, which isn't good. I hope we can I hope we can fix that right now. Like right right now, please. And we, as soon as I say that, we lose to Arizona. We win against Colorado and lose to Winnipeg and St. Louis. And I'm actually slightly concerned now. All right, Winnipeg we beat. And Dallas we beat in a shutout last game of the season. All right. Oh, geez. That's probably cutting it close. Oh, never mind. Wasn't cutting it close at all. Gotcha. All right, 108 points. I believe that uh, that might be the top. No, the Rangers are the top of the league. 110, 108. We are in, where are we? We are in 13th in the league. San Jose at 17th got in before the Islanders at 15th, which is definitely interesting. <laughs> All right, as far as our, why am I doing that? As far as our point, as far as our stats go, I should say, did we uh, did we fix the? Uh, ooh, Minnesota can't generate any offense. We didn't really pick it back up from our terrible offense, but we're still top five in the league for goals against, which is good. You know the the good side of it. We've got a good power play. We've got a great penalty kill that I look seeing as I looked at that real quick. Second in the league, so it really comes down to uh, five on five offense is not that great, but our special teams are rock solid. So it's gonna be interesting, and we're gonna be playing against the St. Louis Blues. And since this video was a little short, I'm not gonna lie. We're going to do the team meeting. We're going to look at the team. Uh, we're going to see what's going on with everything. You know what? Just get those wins, guys. You guys can do it. I believe in you. This is our year. Let's actually check their... Yeah, I don't, I don't mind right now. Let's check their lines real quick. Because I'm, uh, I'm seeing Tarasenko there. At least I think that's Tarasenko. Alright, so we're looking like this. We're looking pretty solid. Uh, did Benson actually... Did Benson... Oh, I can't even... Check this properly. 48 points. And... 
Morrissey, 35 points. Okay, yeah, those guys can stay where they are. But, oh wait, we need to go to edit lines, options, view opponents. So we've got Ty Ratty, uh, Robbie Fabry, and 97 Vladimir Tarasenko. That is one thing we definitely need. Hey, we need one of those superstars like Tarasenko. But, and then they've got Barbashev, uh, Godin, and Zuccarello. That's, I'm not going to lie, that's a filthy top six. <laughs> and then, oh God, Kadri, Payarvi, and Lee. Stasny's a fourth line winger with Hansel and Dwight King. Defensively, they've still got Petrangelo and Shattenkirk, which, Jesus, that's good still. Vanelli and Middleton. Bowmeister really dropped, though. Thank God for that. And they've got Bishop. So they've got an offensive guy, so they're probably not the most sound defensively. And what is their... Who's their goalie? Allen and, Allen and Elliott still. An 85 and an 83. Ooh, their goalies don't look that great. So on paper, we are a better defensive team, but this really is going to scare me. Oh, well, anyway, so there's the teams. Let's actually check in on how Milwaukee's been doing as well. All right, regular season ended. They made the playoffs. They're going to be going up against Charlotte. And, yeah. Alright, so... Player stats. Also, I wanted to check this. I know it seems like I'm going all over the place. But, entire league. As far as forwards go... Oh, hey, Aberg. Remember when we had him, and he never grew for us, even though he was... Supposed to, supposed to be one of the best. That is scaring me a lot. Tarasenko, right wing sniper, one of three points. He's up there with Giroud, Voracek, which with 95, Vesunov, Tavares, Sagan, McKinnon, Pasternak. Pasternak finally grew for the Boston Bruins. Uh, ben, Moen, Kane. Crosby's actually not even point per game anymore. That is f really fun to see. Hell, he's not even the highest rated. It's Tarasenko by a long, uh, by a lot. Uh, as far as goalies go, I'm curious. All right, best save percentage for players that played over like. Okay, so it's Holtby, Quick, and then Vorobev. So. That's a good sign for us. All right, and then Laura Kanan. All right, whatever. He's he'll do him. All right, and then we have Holtby leading goals against average. Laura Kanan as well. Ash Nadelkovic, Vorbev's up here as well with Johnny Quick. Actually, you know what? Here's someone we should look for real quick. We traded him to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Let's check in on our old friend Ken Simpson. He looked not that great for them. 2.7 with a 9.12 save percentage. His, his stats are fine for the most part. I mean, certain parts of it are not that great, but... Anyway, as far as this goes, entire league, defenseman, points. Let's see. I'm seeing Antropov there with 70. Jesus. All right, come on. Sort from the other way. Antropov with 70. Stadler, Oliver Ekman-Larsen, Ekblad. Wow. That's... 
I'm actually surprised the Rangers had a guy that good doing that. Especially over guys like Oliver Ekman Larson, Aaron Ekblad, Carlson, Dowdy. Oh, Graves looks good. For a defensive guy, especially. Oh, Morgan Riley is only is pretty much on par with Roman Yossi right now. Anyway, that's pretty much all I, that I can really show. That's all I wanted to check. So I will see you guys in the next one where we take on the St. Louis Blues in the first round. I'll see you guys there, and I hope you're having a fantabulous day.